Hi guys, we are looking at the Tab S6 Lite today and the note-taking capabilities with the brand new S Pen. What are the differences on the S Pen? Why do I like it so much? How is the lag on the tablet itself? What is the accuracy when writing? And maybe a little bit of fun factor and how my handwriting actually turns out on the Tab S6 apps. We're also going to check the accuracy when it turns our handwriting into text. I'm going to start with my favorite feature. My favorite feature is the screen write. If you are late to a meeting or running in a lecture late, all you have to do is click the button on the side of the S Pen, double click, and you already have a note available to you. Wow, I am late. So you've walked in, you can write your note immediately, press start, you haven't missed any of that important information and it's saved on your device. If we go into settings, we can have a look at the options available to us for the S Pen. We go to advanced features and you can choose a few different things. You can choose obviously whether you can have the screen off memo, which I find a, an amazing function. You can have the air view where you hold your pen over and you can already see information on an app for example you can also show or hide the pointer and i must say on the tab s6 i really wanted to hide the pointer because it was so in my face however on the new tab s6 Lite, it is not in your face at all and the pointer is hardly to be seen we'll open the samsung notes create a new note these are all my screen notes create a new note and we can start writing straight away. What you will see when I am writing is that there is very little seeable lag or feelable lag. It is lovely to write with. Now the big question is, my writing is somewhat messy, whether it can then turn that into text. And if we press convert, we can read it once upon a time. We have two words in one here. There was a little, again, tab S6, like it is lovely to write with. It is slightly out, but that's probably to do with my handwriting. But if you look at the pen itself, you can see it's not like the Tab S6 where we had the really fat bottom end of it. When you are writing, you can see the nib to device and you can see exactly where it is hitting the device. We also have the pressure points available to us. So we can have light, super light, or when we press harder, we have a deeper line. So if you try again with the writing, and I will do a light handwriting and then a pressing harder. You'll see there's a slight difference in the pressure on them if I convert them then to text. We have my writing again all in one. I must start writing further apart. Let's try writing further apart. And still we have an anomaly. So on the Samsung Notes taking app, we do have an anomaly each time. I do say that I am not the neatest writer out there. I do not always <laughs> write super neat, but another app that converts to text that is super useful. Here to get up my air commands, I click and my options come up here. These are my favorites that I have saved. If we click on Nebo or Nebo, we have another handwriting to text. So I'll write lightly.
and we have a perfect conversion to text. I will press on now and write harder. And perfect again. What I like about the Nebo app itself is that my handwriting also looks much neater. I'm not sure what the difference there is between the notes and the Nebo app. So let's see how it handles a couple of lines. It really feels like the pen glides over the the screen is super perfect for writing on. There is very little lag and the accuracy on the Nebo app versus my handwriting is pretty great. Let's have a look at bamboo paper. Let's have a look at a few different colors and how they look or while I am writing. For me, the bamboo paper is the one with the most lag. You can see while I'm writing, if I am trying to write super quick, there is a lag to the writing. It cannot quite catch up with my hand. Accuracy and the lag that you will get with the S Pen and the Tab S6 Lite is actually related to the app that you are using. On its own, there doesn't have to be a lag. For example, when using Nebo or when using Samsung Notes, there was very little lag. And it can be very accurate when changing to handwriting if you're using the right app. Again, Nebo was the winner in that respect. As far as the way my handwriting looks, I find the best app for that is Ink incredible. Now this is one where you do actually get some free use but have to remove ads for example. Out of all the apps I find incredible the one that makes your handwriting look the best and it is probably because it is taking the pressure points as you write and turn it into more of a fountain pen experience. As you see, even my writing can look quite cute like this. There is a lag on this app, but it is one I can live with. If you're wanting to create handwritten notes that look pretty in a calligraphy type way or a fountain pen type way, then the incredible app is the one for you. So all this time you will have noticed or you may have noticed that my palm has been full on the device. If we open up our notes again, my hand the whole time has been full on and we have full palm rejection. Not once do I have a problem with my hand being on. And if we go into a drawing app now and pen up comes on already installed on the Tab S6 Lite. You can choose what kind of drawing you want to do, whether you're doing a photo drawing, We'll choose our home screen here and I can then color. I have a thin, let's have a look more at a paintbrush here in yellow. There we go. And this is my favorite thing for the Tab S6 Lite is the painting and the enjoyment of color on the Tab S6 Lite. If you see there, there is a very little lag that is not in any way spoiling the enjoyment of painting. If we take a pen now to do our outlines and a sketch, if we wanted to do a sketch, see there's no or hardly any lag there that you really notice when you are writing or sketching. I am not an artist, I am not a colourer, but I am a doodler. So if you want to doodle on an, a device, the S Pen, the brand new S Pen, it is way more fun than the Tab S6 S Pen.
the Tabby 6 Lite and the new S Pen, there is very little lag. There is very little lag. Pointer is smaller. You don't accidentally, you don't accidentally press the button when you're writing. Accuracy is good on the writing to text as long as you have the right apps for that. Sketching, no lag. Coloring, so much fun, big tick. And my favorites are the screen notes. I love the incredible app for fountain pen writing. I love Nebo. I love the Nova writing notes. And I love the pen up app. 